It was absolutely beautiful. No way. So I did it's hard to breathe, but that's all right. Hush. Yo, 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 my beautiful ones, it's your boy again, Shady Shady One and Only, and today, guys, we are back again, guys, it's been Shady Shady and Ziga. Today, guys, we are going to check out the top 10 places to visit in Austria. Austria is one country that I've not really checked out uh, their tourism before, so today, guys, we are going to jump on this right away because it's time to explore Europe. Explore your world, broaden your horizon. So that's it too much, guys, let's get this started. But before we start, smash like, subscribe, give me some love. Let's do this, guys. What's up, guys? My name is Ryan, and I recently turned from a trip to the beautiful country of Austria, and I want to show Mad. you my favorite places. So today at work, someone said to me, oh, Shay, you know what? I want to go to Austria because Austria is so beautiful. I want to visit Vienna. I'm like, Vienna, you want to visit? Like, what's beautiful about that country? Oh, she was like, yo, you don't know. So I'm like, okay, you know what? I'm going to check it out, and here I am, guys. Let's do it. And so far, okay, just... Eight seconds in and I'm impressed. Wait, it doesn't take too much to impress me then. So here's my Austria top 10. Look at that castle on the mountain top. <laughs> oh my days. Views Austria immaculate. Austria is one of the most beautiful countries I've been to. It is so green. They have some of the prettiest mountains and lakes you'll ever see. Mad. Now to get there, I'd recommend flying into either Vienna or Salzburg. Preferably Salzburg because it's closer to the Alps. So for our first location, we're gonna head over to go south. It's this looks like one of those Instagram reels. You know those uh, uh, videos that are made with AI. It looks unreal. It's one of the most beautiful towns. Like it is unreal. so gorgeous. When you think about the European Alps, this is it. It had some of the prettiest churches I've ever seen. What? There was hardly anybody. I had whole place to myself. It was absolutely beautiful. No way. So I definitely recommend <laughs> no taking a little pit stop here if you're near Hellstatt. All right, so after Go South, we're gonna head up the road 15 minutes to see the Go South Sea Lake. It's just a quick drive from Go South. You'll pass a beautiful lake with a nice little bench. There's a parking lot where you can park your car. Go South Sea is just this beautiful lake that is situated between the dock. No way, that's no way you can tell me this is real. Yo, where did you get all these stock images from? Like, so you got stock images, bro. Like, these are stock videos. You're telling me Austria is this beautiful. All this while I've checked in tourism from different countries and Austria is like this. Like the definition of picturesque. Alpstein Glacier and the mighty peaks of Gosau Kamm. Probably butchered those words. There's a beautiful trail and you can walk around the whole lake. They have an awesome lodge where you can get food and you can also rent a boat and enjoy the lake even more. One thing that I do regret is I didn't take the gondola up because there's absolutely beautiful views on top and there's also the infamous Austria Sky Ladder. Wish I would have known about if I was there. So make sure you guys visit that lake if you have a chance. It is so pretty. All right, so after Go South Sea, we're gonna head over to the Gross Glockner High Alpine Road. It's the highest road in Austria at 2,504 meters. You know what? Like, this road reminds me of the Transfiguration in, in Romania. Like the road in the rocks and that, you know, that's like a snake, it intertwines like that. Okay. And it's one of the highest in Europe. It's named after Gras Glockner, which is the highest peak in Austria at 3,798 meters. When I was there, I slept at the base of the mountain <laughs> and I woke up around 6 a.m. to catch the sunrise. Slept. It cost me about 35 euros to enter the park. I was absolutely shook by the beauty and the colors of the mountains when I reached the top. Roads were a little scary, but nothing too crazy. After enjoying Gras Glockner, I made the short drive over to the Pastorese Glacier. Yo, Austria, you guys are by the border of paradise. Almost literally by the border of paradise. Like, imagine seeing this live. Imagine, imagine being there and recording this video and just enjoying the beauty. I'll be enjoying the beauty so much I will remember to record. It's the biggest glacier in Austria. They had a nice parking garage and I found this trail that led to the base of the glacier. So I hiked down to the bottom and the glacier was so cool. I loved the lake at the bottom. It was so gray Man. and so pretty. The surrounding mountains are absolutely huge. You're able to see the Gross Glockner Mountain there. And I just had a good time having it all to myself. So definitely a really cool place to visit if okay. you're in the Gross Glockner National mm -hmm. Park. Mm -hmm. All right, so after Gross Glockner and Pastorese, we're gonna head over to Krimmel Falls. Madness. So these are the highest waterfalls in Austria. 
madness. Look at that. Look at that. Just right there in the middle. Looks like a scene from a movie, from one of these fairy tale movies. At 300 meters high, there are three stages to the waterfall, the biggest being over 140 meters. So the entrance fee is about 4 euros, and it's about a 30 minute hike to the lowest waterfall, which is the biggest and most impressive, in my opinion. You'd also hike to the top if you're feeling like an adventure. There's a nice little lodge where you can have lunch. If you like waterfalls, I definitely recommend visiting Grimmel Falls. Alright, so after Grimmel Falls, we're going to head over to the beautiful town of Hallstatt. When you see Hallstatt for the first time, it feels like a fairy tale. It's located on Lake Hallstatt and it has the beautiful mountains surrounding it. And the town is just so beautiful. It's famous for its 16th century alpine style houses. Hallstatt used to be a salt mining village, but now it's a very popular tourist destination. To get there, it's about an hour drive from Salzburg. You drive through a tunnel to get to the town. I'd recommend going there and walking around enjoying the beauty of the town. All right, so after Hallstatt, we're gonna head over to Wolfgangsee Lake. It's about an hour drive from Salzburg. I stumbled upon this lake on my way to Hallstatt. I was just blown away by the <laughs> mountains and the color of the water. He was blown away. Look at me sat here, blown away, watching this from the screen. Blown away already on my seat. It literally felt like I was in the ocean. They had like these boats in the water and it was just so beautiful. Found a nice little pit stop off the side of the road where I was able to get a panoramic view of the area and it was just so freaking cool. I definitely recommend hanging around Lake Wolfgangsee if you get a chance. So after Lake Wolfgangsee, we're gonna head up to the nearby Schaefberg Mountain. So you can take a ferry from Satan Gilgen and then take a steam train up to the mountain. So the train is a little bit expensive. It costs around 30 euros. So if you want to save some money, you can take a cable car from St. Gilgen or you can just hike it up. The view on the top is absolutely stunning because you get a panoramic views, the surrounding mountains and lakes. There are some cafes where you can get some lunch and enjoy the beauty. <laughs> Yo, Yo way. Is it just me? Is it just me? Yeah, that's blown away by this. Yeah, <laughs> like this is insane. This is absolutely insane. So if you want to save some money, you can take a cable car from St. Gilgen or you can just hike it up. The view on the top is absolutely stunning because you get a panoramic views, the surrounding mountains and lakes. There are some cafes where you can get some lunch and enjoy the beautiful views and you can just hike around the area. It is so pretty. And so scary. After Schaffberg, <laughs> we're going to head over to the Zillertal Alps. This is the furthest destination in the video, being over a four hour drive from Salzburg. It's right on the Italian-Austrian border. One of the coolest places in the Zillertal Alps is the Olperer hike. It's a hike that goes up to a peak of over 11,000 feet high, but on the way there, there's a bridge that has an absolutely gorgeous view of the lake below. This bridge is super famous all over social media. If you keep walking up the trail, there's also a nice little mountain hut where you can get some food and enjoy the view below. There's Look, for people that live in this place, yeah, you, you have no excuse, yeah? You have no excuse to not be Instagram famous. Zero excuse. By the time you just keep on posting pictures and the videos of yourself, yeah, in fact, no one is ever going to believe that it's real. People are going to think that, you know, the background is uh, is uh, uh, AI generated. All right. Austria, you know. It's also a super cool dam on that lake. And it's Mad. just a really beautiful place with amazing views. For our last stop, we're going to head over to the castle of Bergein Schloss. When I was driving back to Vienna, I saw this from the highway. So I decided to pull off the road and get as close as I could to this castle. It's believed to be built in the 12th century. It has mm. five round towers and it's just an absolutely magical place. Magical. What's awesome is it's free to enter and you just hike there oh. and you can go whenever you want. All right, that is it for my favorite places in Austria. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Anyways, it's Ryan and we will see you later. This video is insane. Like, I'm not gonna lie to you that you've seen it for yourself. Like the whole pictures look like stock videos, stock videos, stock images, no, stock videos, not images. I'm like, excuse me, sir, where did you get all these uh, stock videos from? It looks so good, so amazing, so beautiful. It looks like you're by the border of, uh, of paradise. I mean, like, I'm not gonna lie though, <laughs> like that, uh, the castle up there and the view from the top here of the Alps look a bit scary. Yeah, if you're scared of heights, it might be a bit scary, but the beauty will blow you away. From what I've seen so far, my mind is like, yo, let's go, let's go, let's go. But wow, 
I never thought that Austria would be this this uh, beautiful. I was only told about it today, and I was like, yeah, Austria, beautiful. I'm like Austria. Who talks about going to Austria? People don't talk about going to Austria. We talk about Spain. Some people talk about Poland. We talk about Prague. Okay, we talk about Germany. I've been Germany, Berlin. You know, then people talk about Asia. You know, travelers Asia, Indonesia, Philippines. But look at Austria. You know. Right by my doorstep, I think about an hour and a, and a half flight, or maybe two hours flight from London. Yo, Austria. Okay, well done, well done. But you know the sad thing? I have a funny feeling, maybe people in Austria don't appreciate what they have. I have a funny feeling. But anyway, this video, amazing, definitely enjoyed it, guys. Okay, okay, let's see. I mean, I've been through uh, Vienna before. I was in Vienna for a few hours. I was gonna ex explore it, but I was like, what is there to see in Vienna? And I just feel like, you know, I'm not going to waste my time. I spent about six hours, I think, in Vienna. And uh, I, w I went over to another country. I went to Armenia. But anyway, now that I've seen this one, I am very impressed. Impressed. All right? Anyway, guys, I'm going to see you on the next video. Take care. Love. Peace. Oh, I love you more than words can say. You are me. Oh, you are the light that shine in my way. You are me. Oh, you are the light that shines in my way.